Welcome back. Billionaire CEO Bill Ackman says Harvard President Claudine Gay has been asked to resign but refuses to do so. Since the start of the Israel-Hamas war, Ackman has been a well-known figure in the fight against anti-Semitism here in the United States. And take a look at his tweet here. He posted on X saying Gay has apparently said that if she is fired, she will sue. Gay has retained her own counsel. Ackman stands firm in his opinion that Gay's resignation, though, won't fix Harvard's reputation, only the school admitting it made a bad choice of leader Will. Ackman added this on X, saying the sooner Gay is gone, the sooner repairing the damage can begin, end quote. So what is the solution and the path forward for Harvard when there's so much secrecy there? Let's bring in our expert panel to discuss this, a political reporter from The Spectator, Matthew Foldy. Always good to see Matthew. And we have a special treat tonight. Someone Matthew knows well, Bonnie Glick. She's the former deputy administration, COO of USAID, Trump administrator. And uh, Bonnie is also a 2021 Harvard Institute of Politics fellow and Matthew's mom. Welcome into you both. Hey, happy Tuesday. Yeah, just, uh, you know, more Harvard stuff coming out. And it is really incredible. The fact that um, she now has reportedly, Matthew, we'll start with you, uh, retained counsel there. Um, Amidst all of this, though, there's really an unraveling, though, the way this school board of directors known as the Harvard Corporation has been running things. And uh, that really has been something we didn't know before. Reportedly, when they found out about her plagiarism, they actually responded by hiring the leading defamation firm in the United States. So even before the congressional disaster, they were going to back her, apparently, if there was any claim against her. Well, it's great to be here with an uh, esteemed panel here, and I look forward to Claudine Gay plagiarizing everything we're about to say uh, in a couple of weeks. And I think that you can see a lot of problems going on with Harvard, exactly mm -hmm. as you're saying, that go way deeper than just her horribly, horribly embarrassing congressional testimony. I think it says a lot about higher ed's priorities that if and when Claudine Gay is fired, it will be because she plagiarized her way to the top and not because she has no problem with students on her campus calling for the genocide of Jews in America. So that's higher ed's priorities. But yes, there is this secretive body that's they call themselves the oldest corporation in the Western Hemisphere. And to me, it raises a lot of questions of how she was hired to begin with. Yeah. Because it's not like she only recently started plagiarizing. Did they just wave her through without actually scrutinizing her background? It seems like every single day we're learning about another instance of plagiarism. So it seems to me like these people who are some of the titans of industry are not that plugged into what's actually going on at Harvard. We'll get to that. The board, as you talk about, is the titans. And they, they declined to say who is responsible, Bonnie, for reviewing Gay's work. But we do know, according to the Harvard Crimson, the five-month search to then give her the position in 2022 is the fastest that it's ever gone down. You've been very vocal about uh, the Harvard Corporation, in particular, Penny Pritzker, who is one of the board members there. There's about 11 or 12 there. You say she needs to step down. Tell us about your thoughts on, on the corporation, the way they move, the way they lack transparency. It, Bianca, thank you so much for having me on. It's great to be on. Happy belated Christmas. Um, look, it's totally appropriate that this is called the Harvard Corporation. It's more of an asset management company than a university. Penny Pritzker presides over a $50 billion Harvard enterprise. She recruited an unqualified woman to preside over it as president of Harvard University because Claudine Gay fit a DEI profile. She's a black woman. And of course, in the course of her tenure, she has now presided, as Bill Ackman is quick to point out, over the loss of billions of dollars in donations. No responsible corporate board would ever allow that to happen. In fact, if it would, if something like that happened in corporate world, it would cause the board and its CEO to resign or be fired. But Penny Pritzker and the Harvard Corporation doubled down on its support for Claudine Gay. 
And, you know, the board has a, a very, it's a small number. In other schools, they've noted there's usually about 30 people. Uh, and there's a very insulated elite group here. You know what's interesting about what we're learning now, though? If she is threatening to sue if fired, the first, you know, pushback was, well, if we fire her, we're just giving into political pressure. Now we're hearing, well, maybe they're worried about her suing. But what do you buy of some of the arguments, Matthew, that they want to keep her because she will continue to do what they want her to do and she's a puppet in a bigger plan here where if they really got rid of her there might actually be some real change and they know that she'll do their bidding that's that's i think unfortunately overly optimistic because as we saw with penn which fired its president immediately after uh elise stefanik eviscerated her they just replaced her with a clone the problem with higher ed goes way beyond just the figureheads like Claudine Gay and Liz McGill who run these institutions. It goes down to the lower tier administrators who are enforcing and implementing all of the insane DEI policies that have basically destroyed higher education. So in my opinion, it doesn't even matter if Claudine Gay is there. I think this is a hilarious uh, beclowning of higher ed. Uh, you know, it reminds everyone never to go to Harvard. If I were a, a student at Harvard though, I would plagiarize everything next semester and say, look, I'm just being like our president. If you want to uh, expel me, you have to get rid of her, too. But the problem is they could replace Claudine Gay with someone else. And even if you have a competent, you could put Ben Sass, for example, at Harvard. I don't think it's going to actually be enough to undo the rot in uh, these colleges. Your son's making uh, some really interesting points there, uh, Bonnie. What do you think here? You raised a pretty sharp kid. <laughs> I thank you so much. I think that he is spot on. Uh, and more cynically than anything, Harvard Corporation Board has ignored the disastrous testimony of Claudine Gay in front of Congress. It, it, it caused her counterpart at the University of Pennsylvania, Liz McGill, to step down, to resign as president, and the chairman of the board of Penn resigned as well. I mean, seriously, how can Penny Pritzker do anything other than fire Claudine Gay and fire her not the way that Liz McGill got off? Liz McGill was able to resume her tenured position in the law school at Penn with a full pension and benefits. Penny Pritzker needs to fire Claudine Gay cut all of Gay's ties to Harvard, and then she and her board have to resign. It's clearly time for change at Harvard. Well, the big uh, pocket donors feel the same way, and uh, a lot of folks, when they uh, are thinking about it, will not be choosing Harvard, and employers don't want to hire people who went to Harvard there. So all looking uh, definitely in the negative term. We didn't even get to MIT, so we'll have to have you back uh, to talk about that. So much to get into. Bonnie Glick. Matthew Foldy, a pleasure to have this duo. I, re duo. I really enjoyed the mother-son dynamic here. Hey, great to be here with actual <laughs> qualified women. <laughs> Good stuff. Thank, Thank you, guys. You. Thank you, and Happy New Year to you both.